island is already saturated, so you need more area, and uh, especially for the uh, community and for the public uh, to stay. So in any development project, there's always an impact, so including this PSI reclamation project. DOE has put up clearly in the guidelines is, yes, there's an impact, but the question is how to mitigate that. For a reclamation project, you need a material or soil to basically create a new land. So in this case, this material will be taken offshore of the sea um, to the area which are away from, we call it environmental sensitive area, typically more than 20 uh, meter depth. Uh, we do have an approved authorized uh, sand source, excavated or dredged, transport to the site and filled. Okay, this process are actually a normal process uh, which has been done throughout the world and a lot of projects in, um, in Europe, for example, like uh, Rotterdam. In, in China, um, a Tianjin port or Tianjin town, the whole area uh, on reclaimed land. And also some part of Singapore has been done with reclamation uh, process. With these dredging works and reclamation works, uh, there are requirements to install a dredging disposal management system, what we call it DDMS. It will track the movement of the vessels from the sand source to the project area and to the dredging area to the disposal area. So by doing this, uh, the vessel are equipped uh, with a notification system where if it's dredged or disposed the dredged material outside the uh, permissible area, so DOE or the project team will be alerted. And this, in a way, we can control the movement of the vessels and will not have uh, an uncontrolled dredging area and also uncontrolled disposal of dredging works. When you are performing dredging works as well as reclamation works to create land, there are always a turbidity involved. So what we have addressed in our EIA submission that we need to control this turbidity. We are introducing a perimeter bun. So this perimeter bun are to be constructed prior to any filling works. So with this perimeter bun, it can control the uh, turbidity from getting outside of the area. The other part is to install a several seat curtain, and this seat curtain is movable where, where you can put and place this seat curtain in the working area. We also place water quality monitoring station, whereby we can monitor the water quality not exceeding the permissible limit gazetted by the Department of Environment. Some part of the island inundated during high tide and especially during heavy rain, and certain areas as well in the rivers, there are stagnant waters and also um, lack water circulation. So by doing this island, we could model and complementing uh, some of the uh, uh, bad rivers so that water can uh, flow uh, efficiently and more optimum. So this would create a more circulation to the area. When you create a new land, you are creating basically a new platform levels, which is much higher than the uh, certain areas in the mainland where it's actually prone to the uh, coastal flooding. I'll give you an example uh, in Tanyun Tokong. The area is actually at least one meter higher than the mainland. And during tsunami in 2004, the whole area in the Gani Drive and in Tanyu Tokong is inundated. But the new land created um, in Tanyu Tokong is actually safe and free from inundation from the tsunamis. So this actually can create a new a safe uh, area, especially to the public uh, when the disaster hit, especially on the uh, floods and also the uh, tsunamis.